Part of the reason that I started uh, the Let's Rename Dundas Street petition is the Black Lives Matter uh, protests last summer, which raised issues around how particularly anti-Black racism, but also anti-Indigenous racism and colonial violence are built in to the everyday fabric of our urban life. And following this, I did happen to learn about the uh, controversy around the Melville Monument in Edinburgh in Scotland and the subsequent campaign to have that monument recontextualized. And I thought to myself, if Edinburgh is uh, having a conversation about the Melville Monument and uh, its subject, Henry Dundas, uh, whom I knew was also the person for whom our Dundas Street was named, then we ought be too. Henry Dundas was a 18th century Scottish politician. The concern around commemorating and celebrating Henry Dundas uh, stems largely from his involvement in um, confounding efforts to abolish the transatlantic slave economy due to um, Dundas's efforts working in concert with the uh, uh, West Indian plantation interests. He was able to use the word gradual into an abolition bill, uh, which basically ensures the bill will pass, but that the deadline is like whenever. And uh, this gradual approach led to uh, not only the enslavement of over half a million people, uh, but the death of tens of thousands. There is uh, Dundas's involvement in using enslaved peoples, forcibly conscripting them into the British army to actually fight to put down uh, so-called slave rebellions. And it's within this expansionist context that uh, Dundas is also implicated in the genocide of the Garifuna people, uh, the Afro-Indigenous people of uh, St. Vincent the Grenadines. The petition to rename Dundas was begun in, uh, in June 2020. Within about 48 hours, the mayor asked the city manager to respond to the petition, and they developed a four-option based plan on how to respond to this that was accepted by city council in October 2020, with a report due in the first quarter of 2021. And that report is what you're seeing now, where city staff have made their recommendation to rename it. I'm very happy that they've arrived at that conclusion. Where I am slightly disappointed, of course, is that this isn't a new issue. Black and Indigenous communities have been calling for institutions to address uh, the ways in which their uh, uh, commemorative landscapes uh, celebrate uh, legacies of genocide, colonial violence. And so it's sad that it's taken this long uh, to, to hear those concerns and, and to act accordingly. There is now going to be an inbuilt process of reviewing monuments, street names, awards, and other commemorative landscape, as well as changing um, the way that we choose uh, to commemorate individuals in the future. There is a whole framework laid out uh, for, for that, um, or at least a, a proposal outlined, which will be uh, further detailed and reported back to next year.